Hey guys, I just wanted to do a quick part two of this video because I had a lot of questions. But first, could you please subscribe so that you can be updated about my new videos that come about? Okay, so first things first, I wanted to tell you that um, the first question that I got was where do you put the label? So I put the label, there's a picture of where I had the label. Um, I got those particular labels at the post office, um, but you can use a label from MK Connections or um, a label that you make as well. So that is where I put it. Another question I got was in regards to the hole in the bag. So what I did was I actually used tape. I used a pink tape that I had. It's a shipping tape and I put it inside, like I cut it strategically to match the hole. I put one piece on the inside and like sandwiched it on the outside. Um, I'm sure there are other alternatives. If you have any suggestions, you can put them in the comments below, but that works for me. And I simply fold it back over with a sticker. If I am mailing it, I actually have to. I just, I wanted to use those stickers. But you, you would actually want to tape uh, the sides down. Um, and so, and that's just so that it'll fit into the letter um, section. And shown here is actually one of the parcel ones that I had. And then you would put a piece of tape actually across the back of that as well. And not just use the sticker. I would like to also emphasize that this particular mailing was not the one that included the lotion so i have two different ones i have one that includes lotion as well and that will be considered parcel um this one is actually fits in the letter category which brings me to my next question which is how much was the cost so the cost for this one with only the sample inside it was it fit into the letter category and so i only paid for a little i think it was like 20 cents extra so it was 98 cents so it was one full stamp and then a 20 cent stamp is what i used um and yeah that's it the other when you add it if you were to add like a lotion sample or anything else in the bag of course, it would be considered parcel at that point, which is a shipment of like a package and they would weigh it at that point, And then you would be paying like the same as though you were using a mailer, if that makes sense. So if anybody has any questions or comments, please comment down below because when you actually comment down below on the YouTube video, that may actually help someone else who is maybe asking the same question so that we don't have to, myself and my assistant don't have to answer it uh, more than once. But, um, you know, we um, don't mind, but we just like to help others as well. Um, so if you comment down below, somebody else may be able to see it while they're watching a video or whatever. And yeah. That's it. Thank you guys so much for your support.